In today's video, we'll dive into 10 growth stocks that also pay dividends. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. As an investor, you don't have to sacrifice dividends in order to achieve impressive fundamentals. Growth stocks are those of companies that have expanding revenue and profits because they are winning new business. And in general, this means putting a lot of money into the future of the business by researching new products and hiring more people instead of buying back shares, giving dividends, or doing other things with the money. But not every growth stock has not given up entirely on sharing the wealth via dividends. The following growth-focused companies not only predict sales growth of at least 10% but also pay dividends of at least 1%. You can find larger yields among traditional income investments in sleepy sectors of the market. But these dynamic companies offer a bit of yield alongside a bigger chance of outperformance if they continue to grow their businesses. With that said, let's review our 10 growth stocks that also pay you dividends. Number 10. CF Industries Holdings Incorporated, ticker CF. The dividend yield as of December 2022 was 1.5%. CF is one of the world's largest producers of agricultural chemicals, including nitrogen-based fertilizers. While some companies have seen demand wane based on recent consumer trends, crop demand is normally quite strong, and after disruptions to global grain supplies in the aftermath of the Ukraine war, farmers need CF chemicals more than ever to increase yields. Number 9. Gen Digital Incorporated, ticker, GEN. As of December 2022, the dividend yield was 2.2%. Gen Digital is a cybersecurity and identity protection firm that is best known for its Norton virus protection software and its LifeLock privacy solutions service. In a digital age where bad actors are seemingly everywhere online, Gen Digital is certainly riding a trend of multi-year growth. Analysts expect revenue to leap by more than 19% in fiscal 2023 and another 17% in fiscal 2024, thanks to strong interest among both consumer and enterprise clients. Shares have lost 11.2% this year on a total return basis through November 2022, but they have outperformed the broader market and could be set for a comeback if the current market volatility subsides. Number 8. Helmerich & Payne Incorporated, ticker, HP. As of December 2022, the dividend yield was 2.5%. Oil drilling services provider H&P is representative of a lot of companies in the oil patch, riding roughly a year of rising energy prices to big success. But unlike some other companies, its growth story does not appear to be a flash in the pan. For example, analysts expect revenue to surge by about 47% this fiscal year and another 12% next fiscal year, based on more than 250 rigs at work globally. The company has seen its share price more than double since January 1st, thanks to this strong outlook, but it also pays a decent dividend on top of this great growth narrative. Number 7. Jack Henry & Associates Incorporated, ticker, JKHY. As of December 2022, the dividend yield was 1%. Payments processor Jack Henry may not be one of the more popular technology stocks out there, but this financial services specialist has more than 30 years of dividend payout growth under its belt, driven by consistent growth in profits and sales that shows no sign of slowing down. With analyst expectations of about 8% revenue growth this fiscal year and next, and with the trend of frictionless transactions on the rise, the outlook is strong for JKHY. With only $296 million in debt on a $13.6 billion business, the company has an impressive balance sheet as it grows without having to pay for borrowing. Number 6. Microsoft Corporation, ticker, MSFT. As of December 2022, the dividend yield was 1.1%. What's not to like about Microsoft? At roughly $1.8 trillion in market value, it's one of the most dominant companies in the world and along with Johnson & Johnson, J&J, is one of just two publicly traded U.S. stocks that get a perfect AAA credit rating on their corporate debt. Shares have been under pressure this year, in part because MSFT stock has such an outsized weighting in most index funds that have been punished in the market-wide sell-off, but its fundamentals are still sound. Analysts predict that revenue will grow by about 7% this fiscal year and that growth will speed up to 13% in fiscal 2024. And while the dividend is meager from a yield perspective, since payouts began at just 16 cents annually in 2003, they have soared to $2.72 over the last 20 years. That shows that as this tech titan grows, it shares the wealth with stockholders. Number 5. Sociedad Química y Minera de Chile S.A., ticker, SQM. As of December 2022, the dividend yield was 8.6%. Though many investors may not have heard of SQM before 2022, 
This is the year that the under the radar company has risen to international prominence. SQM is a lithium miner based in South America is riding a red hot commodity inflation wave along with a booming business for electric vehicle manufacturers. This fiscal year, the company's income is expected to go up by 270% because lithium prices and demand are going up. Shares have soared 96.9% through November 2022 on a total return basis thanks to these numbers, but SQM also pays a dividend that can be a bit volatile in terms of payouts but has been amazingly generous as of late. Number 4. Texas Roadhouse Incorporated, ticker, TXRH. As of December 2022, the dividend yield was 1.9%. Yes, that Texas Roadhouse. You may think it's risky to invest in this southwestern steakhouse chain given the pain of COVID-19, the general move away from red meat toward healthier diets, and the pinch that inflation is putting on consumers. But TXRH stock defies expectations on all these fronts with an amazing growth story that can't be denied. Revenue is forecast to grow 16% this fiscal year and another 10% in fiscal 2023, and shares are up by 11.3% this year on a total return basis, even amid the broader pain on Wall Street. With more than 600 restaurants around the world, this chain has a lot of room to keep growing as long as it keeps connecting and growing, even though it's facing bigger challenges. Number 3. Tractor Supply Company, ticker, TSCO. As of December 2022, the dividend yield was 1.7%. In the age of Amazon, Home Depot, and Walmart, you wouldn't think that a brick-and-mortar retailer with a fraction of the size would be able to compete. Well, think again, as tractor supply continues to make inroads with rural customers. TSCO is set to record roughly 11% revenue growth this year and another 7% next year, even in a challenging environment for consumers. That's in part because its core customers are actual farmers with tractors, but also because its lawn care and home improvement business have connected with folks who feel overlooked by the typical chains. The results show the stock is only down slightly on the year and has soared an impressive 220% over the last five years to lap the S&P 500 more than four times over. Number 2. Turkcell Altisim His Meat Lariaz, ticker, TKC. As of December 2022, the dividend yield was 1.8%. Turkcell is a telecom based in Turkey that offers mobile, TV, and fixed-line internet services to about 40 million customers. It also offers different enterprise technology services in the area, like data center management and cybersecurity. Turkey's economy was hurt by an economic crisis in 2021, but inflation is a problem all over the world, and new policies will help the country start over in 2023, so there are high hopes for growth. In a digital age, Turkcell is the linchpin of the plans for many businesses, and analysts project more than 30% revenue expansion next year. And unlike other growth stocks in emerging markets, a telecom like TKC offers a measure of reliability thanks to regular subscriptions and long-term contracts with customers. Number 1. Apple, ticker, APPL. As of December 2022, the dividend yield was 1.37%. Apple is one of the most valuable companies in the world, and Warren Buffett has a big stake in it as a dividend stock. Apple is the world's second largest smartphone company, accounting for more than 10% of the global market share. The iPhone, iPad, Mac, Apple Watch, and Apple TV are Apple's key products, with the iPhone representing the majority of its 2018 sales. Apple has a lot of pricing power because these products are known all over the world for their high quality, premium brand, and ease of use. The company also owns a portfolio of consumer and professional software, such as the iOS, Mac OS, Watch OS, and TV OS operating systems, which are key differentiators. Apple's products and services are known for their innovative designs, ease of use, and ability to work well together. All these innovative products have established Apple's supremacy in the mobile space, and the company invests around 5% of its revenues in R&D activities to stay ahead of competitors. Also, iOS only runs on Apple devices, so if a customer wants to stay in the Apple ecosystem, they have to keep buying iOS devices. This results in sticky customer relationships. Its sales of games, music, and other digital content through the iTunes Store are another high-margin cash flow stream that keeps growing every year. A leading brand name, a global geographical presence, an impressive product portfolio, and super sticky customer relationships have helped form a huge moat around Apple's business. Apple started paying dividends again in 2012 and it has seen its payout grow by approximately 11% annually over the last three years. Given Apple's leading market share, loyal customers, innovative products, and a hoard of cash on the balance sheet, 
the company should continue raising its dividend at a strong pace in the future as well. This concludes our list of the top 10 growth stocks that also pay dividends. As always, do your due diligence and research before buying any stocks or investing in the market. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates on the best stocks to buy and cutting edge investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your investments.